Well, it's uh, 25 past three on Wednesday and I'm back up here at Runyon Canyon. I'm gonna give this run a go again. I was gonna try to get out this morning about 6 a.m. when it was nice and cool, but I didn't get to bed till half three, so that didn't happen. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a go again. Uh, this time I have a watch with me. I'll time it and see how, uh, see how I get on this time. Well, there we go, uh, bottom, and I'm barely out of breath. Uh, it's this whole downhill, obviously from the top, so uh, all you have to do is put one foot in front of you, and gravity does the rest. That took about nine minutes, <clears throat> a little bit longer than I thought. Nine minutes on the way down, so we'll see how long it takes to get back up again. Uh, this is where we're going, right up to the top of this, up to here, except I'm going up this way and it'll take us over there and you can't really see where we're going but it'll eventually end up back there. That's another route that can be taken uh, but that's a little more gentle. Uh, this one is much steeper so uh, no doubt I'll be stopping at several points to catch my breath so I'll let you see what it's like uh, at several points on the way up. So 25 to 4 see what time we get to the top. Oh, I've barely been going a minute, but I've had to stop. It really is it's just an incredibly steep climb. I'm not sure if you can see uh, what the angle's like in that, but there's great views. This is why I like running here, but the elevation is just so steep that it's, uh, it's impossible to keep running. This one all the way to the top. Okay, another stopping point. So, uh, that there's the sort of thing we're climbing up. But you're turning around, see great views like that, so it's definitely worth the climb here. All right, this is the first peak, so uh, that's the other path that we could have taken over here. It, uh, So you can see it sort of comes gently up here for a bit and then there's a steep climb here and then it's sort of a gentle incline all the way across. Uh, it doesn't go up there, it sort of comes around here and around that there's the path I took on the way down which is sort of a gentle slope all the way down and then this is the next peak we're going up to here and then up to this one and then back down again. So I think this is actually the highest peak here, it's just a perspective because we're so far below this one that uh, it looks higher than that but it's not, that's the highest peak up there. So I'll try to make it up there if I can, but uh, I'll uh, get going on the, the second part of this run. So views from this one are brilliant. We have a Griffiths Observatory over here and downtown. Uh, this is all sort of Hollywood down here. And uh, over in this direction is Santa Monica and the coast. You can also see the uh, Hollywood sign here. They have some nice expensive houses down there, their pools. Diving pools even have up there. And then on the far side of that is the valley. Okay, this is the main peak of this run. Uh, we have a prayer box here. People throw rubbish and uh, put their prayers in there. Whatever. I had to catch my breath there. Uh, I can barely talk to the camera, so like I said, this is a prayer box at the top. Uh, there's always a lot of butterflies here for some reason, every time I've been up here, it's full of butterflies. So here we have Los Angeles, and that's what you come up here for, that amazing view. So I'm up here at the highest point in the canyon, uh, for a couple of minutes to get my breath back so I can talk again from here. Not only can you see all out over Los Angeles and the view I've been showing you. Uh, by the way, that's 
the route I took down, uh, let's see where it is, yeah it goes sort of down there and through, sort of winds around there and then it started at the bottom of that, came up over that and that's the highest point there, or that's the second highest point, that's where the prayer box is and then coming all down here and round and back up to where I am now. But from up here you can also see around the other side into the valley. Uh, sort of the view I'd say about that point there, that's where I was showing you the view yesterday down into Universal City. Uh, there is a small hole and drive just running around there and eventually starts running around the other side of the mountain. And uh, yeah, that's the run of Runyon Canyon. Uh, it's taken 40 minutes to get back up here. So like I said, the, uh, the, the route on the way down is different from the way up. Sure. Uh, the uh, elevation is the same, but the uh, distance is obviously different. And uh, yeah, 8 down, 40 up. So I'm happy enough with that. I think I've done it a bit faster than yesterday. And uh, time to go get a shower, get changed and go get something to eat. Well, it's now 5 to 3 in the morning. And I'm just getting packed, getting ready to head to the airport in a few hours. I figured I'd just stay up all night and head to the airport and hopefully sleep in a plane all the way back. Uh, it's LA to Chicago, Chicago to Dublin. And then I'm on a bus up to Belfast and then another flight over to Birmingham for G1. So hopefully I'll not be in too bad a state when I get there. Uh, I shouldn't have too much to do on a Friday night. I might even get an early night for once. But I'm uh, not too long back from seeing Captain America up at the Arclight and uh, I read some mixed reviews about it, seen some uh, people on Twitter saying it was mediocre but I actually really enjoyed it, I thought it was a very good film so I definitely recommend that, don't pay too much attention to those bad reviews uh, very enjoyable and uh, that's pretty much it from LA um, it's been a really good two weeks, uh, Vegas, LA, down to San Diego and then back in LA. So other than some footage from the airport maybe tomorrow morning, uh, this will probably be the last vlog that I do for a while until I start doing something worth vlogging about again. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching these. I know some of them have been a bit long but it's uh, hard to keep a, a vlog of a, a full day at Comic Con down to under five minutes and especially with some footage of the panels and stuff in them. So I have some cheesecake to eat that I got at the Cheesecake Factory and uh, finish packing, maybe do some editing and head to the airport. So I will see some of you at G1, I'll see some of you at home and anyone else is watching these vlogs I hope you've enjoyed them. Uh, so this is it from LA.